Okay, here we are back. I just got done cutting that. Basically like an all thread material. Um, it's the other end here. I guess I'll show you how nice of a cut it, it made. I, I did hit it with the grinder a little bit and the sparks were really, really fine. So it's really hard stuff. Um, I had picked it up from the uh, metal yard and I thought I asked the guy, I go, hey, you got any rod that has got threads on it? Big heavy stuff, hold a rig up. And he goes, yeah, I think I got something. And he brings this out. And, man, I didn't think it would be that hard, but I guess I don't have to worry about the rig coming down. So anyway, we got the same blade in here. And now we're going to cut a piece of uh, DOM. There's no seam in that pipe. It's a little chunk of DOM, and I don't like um, wasting it because it's really expensive. But uh, you can see we're just going to cut a little sliver off. We'll see how this thing cuts now. Just like that now generally that thing will cut better than that but um, ooh, generally it'll cut better than that take this piece out out of here set it over here and uh, show you guys a little sliver here how I'm fine you can cut with that that's that's what you can cut with that sucker. Um, you can see the old cut before was done with a bandsaw. And you can see that that is, that's crooked there. And you flip it over to the cold saw side and you can see how nice and straight that cut is. So you got bandsaw there. Uh, my old bandsaw, the one that I turned into a port band, and now the cold saw. So, but that's what you can cut, and it chopped right through it like nothing. So, um, even after cutting that hard, hard stuff, you can go right back to cutting DOM. I got this blade sharpened, I don't know, two months ago or something like that for 20 bucks. Um, I think I got, uh, I got three more blades up there. Um, I think he sharpened them all for like 40 bucks and one of those blades is a bigger tooth aluminum blade but um, Yeah, so I mean uh, You just can't beat it. I mean yeah, they're pricey um, But if this is what you're gonna do You just can't beat it, you know, but the only thing I wish when I didn't buy it When I bought it is this vice people getting into here really bad on both sides from from doing the angle cuts and into there as well um, just takes two minutes to take these and slide these back you know if you're gonna cut a 45 or whatever I've got my quick Allen wrench right there I stick that thing in there and I can adjust it out really fast and and it just takes a minute you know and then when you're cutting real small stuff slide them all the way in you know as, as close as you can get to your product don't kick it out that way if it kicks it out it'll 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 take a chunk out of that blade, so a lot of power. So anyway, there's the uh, Scotsman's cold saw. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I like it. Scotsman all the way.